Hello, rise up. Blah, blah. It says live video is starting. Is it starting? Okay. <laughs> Hello, rise up visionaries. I'm Susan May, and I'm here to share the, my random ramblings and anything that goes through my brain to inspire you to begin your journey of unplugging. Uh, so today I want to just talk to you a little bit about unschooling. Um, I had never heard of the term unschooling before my children were born. And I really didn't even consider homeschooling. My mom would sometimes joke that I should homeschool. Um, too low FPS. The current frame rate is too low. Please set the... I have no idea what that means. Well, I just got this message from Facebook. It said something about the frame speed. So I have no idea if this is working. I'm trying something new on my computer. So hopefully you can all see this. Anyways, back to unschooling. Um, I started reading about parenting without, parenting without punishment when Marisol was 18 months old. And... Um, I came across the word unschooling in the biography of one of the authors and I was like unschooling what is that I've never heard of it and back in those days I think it was the year 2008 um, I didn't know what to do when I got on a computer I was like check my email and then I'd be like okay what do I do now do I search the web <laughs> so I got on the web and I searched unschooling and I was hooked. I was immediately hooked. Um, this was pre-Facebook, so I found Yahoo groups and got on a Yahoo group. And the one I got on was run by a woman named Sandra Dodd. And I was just thrilled that I could write a question and get like real people to answer me back. And so I asked all the newbie questions about unschooling because I would read a little bit and I would just be fascinated. So I would ask about, you know, screen time. Like there's very common questions about unschooling because um, radical unschoolers often don't have artificial limits on things like food and um, screen time and um, bedtimes and just rules and things like that. So I asked like all the like normal questions, which had been answered a million times, and it was like really embarrassing to look back on. But unschooling to me is just an amazing way of living, and it's become almost like breathing for me and my family. It's so normal for us because it's all we've ever known. It's what we've done since Marisol was very small. Um, and I forget, I do forget how it's not normal for most people. Um, some things that are like really amazing and wonderful are, for example, reading. Both of my children have learned to be fluent readers with no lessons of any kind. They haven't had a single reading lesson. I didn't teach them at all. Um, I read to them in different amounts. Uh, Jerry never really liked reading books and he actually learned at a younger age than Marisol and really much more easily than she did. Um, so reading is like something that parents tend to worry about when their kids are little. And what unschoolers see is that um, really children are wired to learn and it's a lot of trust. Um, what other things um, are interesting about unschooling? I think the big thing is that many people are afraid that it won't work. And I think one thing you have to examine is what do you mean by work? What does it mean that it works? And if you look at my two older children, Marisol is 15 and Jerry is 12, most people would look at Marisol and say it's working. Um, mostly because she has started to do things that look like school. She gets on to Zoom um, and takes math. She gets basically tutored in math from my mom twice a week. So she's doing algebra um, and she has a big history book that she loves to read. So she makes herself read it. 
Um, and she's gone in phases where she tries to do writing and she, you know, so she has done more schooly things. So people would look at her and be like, oh, hey, unschooling works for her. Whereas Jerry is our kid who really, like, people will be like, my kid would just be on the computer and play games all day. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much what our kid does. And a lot of it is is learning to trust your kid and to let go of a need to um, control them. And a long time ago, I read this really amazing article about unschooling, and it gave an analogy of, I think it was bamboo, and how some plants, they put down roots for years and years. I don't know if it was bamboo, because bamboo grows like crazy, but maybe they're putting roots down. There was some plant that just, you couldn't see the growth above the ground, and the roots just went down and down, so it looked like nothing was happening. And then once the roots are like way down, whether, how, however long it takes, months or years, the plant just poosh. And the person compared some of our children to that. And sometimes we think nothing's happening, nothing. And really, if we were paying attention, we would know so much is happening. But Jerry, yes, he it loves his computer and he is on his computer. So we make an effort to get out as a family you know, to go for walks, um, to go to parks, you know, get out of the house and um, do things like that so that he is getting out, but like he really is on his computer. Like most people would be very uncomfortable with it, but then when you talk to him, the knowledge in his brain is just mind blowing. And I look at him and I'm just so excited to see where he goes and what he's going to do because I really don't have the same kind of idea. Like Marisol has known since she was very little, she loves animals. She wants to study. She wants to be a zoologist and she, she pretty much gets an idea in her head and she goes with it. Now she's had some other things that she's interested in. Like, you know, she loves gymnastics. So, um, it's come up that maybe she'd love to be a gymnastics coach. Um, so, with her, it's like kind of easier to see where she might go. Not to say that she's definitely going there. With Jerry, it's like the, you know, there's just no limit. Like I just have no idea where he's gonna go, but I trust because I just, when I get to talk to him, it's just amazing to see the things he's learned. Um, anyways, this is what I love about unschooling is the freedom and that really it's about supporting your child and the relationship you have with your child. Um, so if you foster a very, um, if you're always there for them and ready when they need to have the conversations or if they want, like for example, Marisol's like, I do think I want to go to college so I should be, be learning math then you get the resources for them. It's about supporting them and finding the ways for them to learn the things they do. Now the things with math, like people worry so much about like math and reading and writing, is that when you give this long view, my mom and I were talking about taking a long view today. <clears throat> when you're patient and you wait, when a kid or any person has a goal that they want to meet, their internal motivation is so much stronger than any other force you could put on them. So kids will learn like years of math in months because they're motivated and they want to do it. And also because they're older and their brains are just more ready. Um, and so I really just have a strong belief in that. And then, then there's also the fact that, you know, how many people really need to learn all that math? Not everyone needs to. And I think that's something in school, we have been fed this belief that there is a certain amount of information and that there's a certain set of facts that everyone needs to know. And most people, when they start to examine that, realize it's simply not true. If you look at all the things you've learned as an adult, I had a post a while ago where I listed all the things I've learned as an adult. Um, you know, most of it was about parenting, but they were very important skills, keeping my babies alive, right? Like, um, I learned all about breastfeeding and, and natural family planning, and I've learned about um, natural childbirth, and, um, you know, we've learned all sorts of things about what food we want to eat, and I've learned to cook as an adult, and I learned about raising a puppy, and, you know, if you just look at all the things you've learned since you were out of school, it's pretty mind-boggling, and so, 
that's just what unschooling is. It's it's just living life with your kids and supporting them. And it, re it leads to a very rich um, life. It can often be um, just a lot more flexible because you can choose how you want to spend your time and there's no external um you know entity telling you like when you can go on vacation when you can't and so that's just a little bit about unschooling um this is a little disjointed i didn't have like all my notes prepped um i would love if there's questions or or certain topics you want me to dive into more um i can get more specific because it's really a big topic and one thing that I've learned over the years is that um, usually whatever issues you have with trusting your child, they, they resurface over and over again, whether it's, it, whether it's their screen time or you know the food they're eating or the, the topics that they don't wanna learn that you think they need to learn. Those issues, tend you tend to have a phase where like you kind of let go and then it resurfaces and so what that's called is that's called de-schooling yourself. De-schooling means like letting go, letting go of like schoolish ideas that we've um, absorbed. And most parents went to school their whole life. And so usually the parents have to do more de-schooling than children. Um, so that's just a little intro to unschooling. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like my Rise Up with Susan May page on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel where I'm uploading all these videos where you can subscribe. And if anything that I post ever inspires you, please share it so all the love and good vibes can spread like wildfire. And remember, be bold, be brave, be you. I love you all, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.